My name is Jared Wheeler. I'm an application engineer with 4D Technology. Today we're going to learn how to do reference masking with the 4D inspec. So right now I have a cylinder with a big uh, dig down the side of it. And uh, it's on the screen. You can take a measurement with only tilt removed. And here is the 3D view. And you can see when I drag the cursors over the edge and uh, with the graph down here I'm seeing is the red line on the 3D graph. So that's called the x-axis. And um, the total depth is a little over a millimeter, 1 and 70 microns. But um, you can also see the edge is not at the zero level, not at zero. So if you go over to the feature analysis, you can see, and I have the minimum pit depth of 100, minimum peak height of 100 microns. You can see that it's not recording the uh, dig correctly. It's recording as only so, almost 800 microns. And it's recording the edges as peaks. And the reason it does this is because it takes the overall data set and then finds an average point for the zero plane. And what we want to do with the reference masking is set the zero plane to whatever you're using as a nominal reference surface, in which you can define, which is the purpose of the software. So what we can do is open reference masking right here. And uh, we can select pass outside and auto apply. For one reference mask, auto apply is actually more ideal. You can do over here and then it applies. You can do circular or square and then check the green check mark on the upper right. And now you have to recalculate the surface. And that helped. So let's go back to 3D view for a second. And um, that set the zero level on the left side where I set the mask perfectly. Um, it's zero over there. However, because it's a cylinder, you know, when you set the zero on one side, it'll just rotate the cylinder. So the right side is not at zero now. And um, when we go into feature analysis, it's kidding this whole middle and right side as the pit. Uh, so what we can do is go back into reference masking and uh, uncheck auto apply if you're doing multiple masks. You do not want to have that checked. Pass inside and you can select another mask and push apply and check box and you can recalculate the surface and now it is actually recording it correctly so the depth is almost 1.1 millimeters you go back to a 3d view for a sanity check and you can see it's around the same it's not going to be exactly the same because i'm doing the x-axis here and um, the feature analysis will figure the whole pit and find the deepest points. In summary, uh, we have looked at the reference masking and um, the pit covered a good chunk of the field of view and that set the zero level um, as an average over the whole field of data. Uh, the reference masking allows you to set the zero level at the nominal surface um, as you define it.